I almost threw out the actual crossbody strap without even knowing it. Hey friend, welcome back to my channel and happy new year, happy 2022. Guys, today in this video, I am actually going to share with you some of my best luxury bag finds that I purchased in 2021. And I know there's been quite a few uh, months where I actually was not actually talking to you guys. So I didn't really do a whole lot of purchasing, but I will say I kind of made up for it towards the end of the year. So I'm gonna share with you guys the best bag that I actually found. And also make sure you watch till the end of this video because there's one really, really good one that is still available that you guys, you cannot miss out on. So if this is your first time here, welcome friend. I am Tasha Jade, the owner of The Styling Tea. A blog is dedicated to all things luxury and affordable fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that is the type of content that you do enjoy watching, girl, think about hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time a new video drops right here on the Styling Tea channel because I'm going to be pumping out more videos for you guys every single week in 2022. Like we are starting the, this year off on the right foot together. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into these bags because they are that good. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna kick off this, um, this collection with you right off with a bang with a bag that I literally just got in yesterday. So I have only taken this out of the box, but the first bag that I actually picked up in 2021 is this Jacques Mousse La, Chita, La Chiquita bag. Um, and I got it in this amazing chocolate color. This bag, you guys, was actually on my wish list for 2021. And I love, first of all, I love the brand Jacques Mousse, but I saw this bag as well as one of their other larger bags that I really actually wanted. And I just kept putting it in my cart, you know, just to be able to buy it later when I could actually get it at a discounted price. And so I found this one on Essence. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about the story behind this, because to be very honest, I almost sent this bag back. I really did. I almost sent this bag back because as much as this bag is actually on my best buy, it's also on one of the bags that I would have listed as a no-go for 2021. And the reason being is because of the way that the bag was actually packaged. The problem is, is that when I received the bag, this is not the size I thought I was getting. I thought I was actually going, and that could be just on, on me, myself, so I will admit that for myself. In my mind, I thought the bag was actually a lot larger, and it's not. So the bag came in a regular box, it was shipped by UPS, and the problem is, is that the bag basically was just thrown into the box. There was no nice packaging with it. Um, oh, here's the kicker, the other part about it, this strap that comes with it was actually hidden inside of the box mixed in with a bunch of packaging. So the problem for me is that I almost threw out the actual crossbody strap without even knowing it. So that was something that I did not actually like. It did actually come with a drawstring um, uh, pouch to keep the bag nice and safe in. It also has the brand's name on top of it. I do like their drawstring bags. This is actually my second bag from Jacques Mousse. Um, but what I do like about the bag, I love the, the rich chocolate detail. I love, um, I do actually like the fact that it has a, a crossbody strap because even though that this bag is actually small, I can actually, you know, wear it across my body and just ha keep my hands free. But in terms of what can you actually fit inside of this bag? Not very much. You can actually fit your lip gloss, maybe a couple of keys. Um, if you don't have a lot of keys, you can fit your keys in here. You can fit your credit cards, a credit card holder. Can you fit your, your cell phone? Well, let's see here. I have the iPhone 12 phone, or the iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro Max. And to be honest, this bag looks like it would fit inside of it, but guess what? When I go to put it inside of the bag, It doesn't fit. This is a bag that I would actually say is great if you're going to a, night, a cute little dinner, maybe on a date, 
um, or on vacation. You can just throw a couple of things in here and you don't need to have a whole lot in this bag. Okay, so the very next bag that I actually did pick up in 2021 is this, y'all. This bag is literally one of my favorite, 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 favorite buys of 2021. It is this cute little bag that I actually got from Zara. And I'm not gonna lie, this bag is actually no longer available, but Zara has actually been creating multiple versions of this bag since it actually dropped over the summer. So the bag comes with a nice acetate um, chain handle, and then it also has a really great gold long chain that you can use for a shoulder strap. So if you want to actually hold it, you know, as either a crossbody or you just want to use it as a shoulder bag, you can do that. You can also take the gold chain strap off and use just the acetate handle um, on top of it. And it's, it's a little bit more versatile. You can obviously fit a lot more stuff inside of the bag. I love the gold trim detail on around the bag. It just looks so luxe. This bag, I believe, was around $60, which is literally a steal in comparison to other luxury brand bags that you are actually finding that are in the mini size. Um, when you open up the, the, the bag itself, it has like this really nice um, satin lining on the inside. Um, you can fit your phone inside of here. You can fit your keys and your lip gloss. Like I, I honestly have been able to fit all of the things that are essential for me inside of this bag very, very easily. It's something I would definitely take on vacation. I have worn this for, you know, dinners out with my friends. I have, I mean, this bag is just amazing. All right, so this next bag that I actually purchased in 2021 that I will definitely say was a very good buy is my Telfar bag. Now, if you actually saw one of my other um, luxury unboxing videos earlier this year, I'll place that somewhere up here for you so you can check that out if you haven't seen it. I originally was on the fence about whether or not I actually even liked the Telfar bag for the simple fact that I did not like the fact that this bag has straps that are not detachable. So I normally like to be able to have the versatility of being able to wear the bag, you know, either um, just on my arm or actually wearing it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. And this, you can do that, but you can't remove the straps. However, having used this bag quite a bit in 2021, I don't even care about that anymore. I actually am okay with the fact that the straps are not removable. This bag is like my, literally like my everyday go-to bag for everything. <laughs> this is my bag that I actually run my errands in. I have traveled, I have traveled, you know, across the US in this bag. With, I have used this bag as a work bag. My laptop fits nicely in here. I have been able to, you know, just throw in like workout clothes, whatever. Like, I don't even know half the stuff that's actually in here because this bag is has literally held so much crap. And I honestly say this bag has done so much for me and I have gotten my cost per wear 10 times over. All right, guys, so for this next bag, we're gonna go ahead and keep the black owned businesses blowing through this video. But this next bag that I actually got is from the brand Brandon Blackwood. Now, honey, let me just tell you that if you have not heard of Brandon Blackwood, you are sleeping on him because he makes some phenomenal bags. First of all, let's just get into the fact that he actually has all of his bags shipped in individual branded boxes. So this is what your, your um, box is actually gonna look like. And your purse is going to be nice and protected when you receive it. So I honestly love that. I highly, really, I highly recommend that a lot more luxury brands start doing this because it really helps to actually protect the quality of the bag, especially if you are someone that holds on to bags like myself. Like I don't just buy a bunch of bags and then turn around and just get rid of them. Like especially luxury bags. If you're gonna spend the money on a luxury product, you wanna make sure that it's gonna hold up nicely. So I love the fact that it came in this in this nice box. Um, the back, y'all. 
<laughs> Let me just show you the bag. So the bag itself, let me put this to the side. The bag itself is this bag right here, this denim cutie patootie. I love this bag so much. I showed this one actually in one of my um, holiday vlogs recently. Um, where I actually have, you know, shown it as an unboxing. This bag I actually purchased directly from, I think I got this one actually from, did I get it from Saks? I think I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue, but it is sold out, unfortunately. However, one thing I will highly recommend that you do is actually follow Brandon Brack, or uh, follow him on his Instagram, but then also um, check the website because there's always a new release that's available and you can sign up for email notifications to know exactly when these bags actually come back out. And I will say this because I was looking at this bag last year and when I wanted it, it was sold out and then it came back. So I do believe that he does come out and restock some of these, you know, high popular items frequently. You just want to make sure that you're staying on top of that. But if I can find this bag um, on another site, I will definitely link it in the description box. But let me tell you right now, if you see it, don't wait. All right, so moving on to the next bag. I just realized that I have about a 50-50 split of black owned luxury brands and other brands. So that is a huge win, love that. Uh, Y'all, seriously, I'm, I'm really on the hunt to actually up my purchases for black owned brands right now because there's so many amazing designers that i'm coming across and i'm going to share them with you guys as well that are just um they're just fantastic so the next one that i actually purchased i also shared this as a, you know in the same video for unboxing but i have to share it again because this oh this bag is just so amazing but it is this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, off-white 2.8 Jitney bag. It is so cute. I have not worn this bag yet. I am waiting to actually take her out um, when it's a little bit warmer here because it's extremely cold in the Bay Area, and I'm in hibernation season, so I don't want to go anywhere. But this bag is so amazing. Here's the best part of what I love about this bag is when you actually turn the, um, the top part right here, you can actually open up the flap and then on the inside, you can actually see that there is um, the strap that I have not actually attached. There's this really great red lining on the inside. And then there's also an initial, there's also an additional um, pocket. Actually, there's two pockets. I didn't even realize that. There's two pockets that you can actually use for storage and placing your items in. Um, but this bag is such a great day to night bag. You can wear this, you know, as, you know, a nice dressy um, outfit. You can wear this with like a nice casual outfit, put some sneakers like with, some, with like a sweat outfit, wear it with a crossbody and you're good to go. But this bag I actually purchased directly from Farfetch and this bag is still available. So I will definitely link this down below. But honestly, I love Off-White. I have been a fan of Off-White for a few years now and I had always wanted an Off-White bag since I originally saw the uh, Jitney cash out bag that is completely sold out and I'm still trying to get this bag. But I, I love the fact that, you know, these are such great, beautiful bags that you can keep in your wardrobe and they're just so, they're, they're perfect. Like you're gonna hold on to this bag for a very, very, very long time. Okay, so for this next bag, I have been manifesting um, the, this particular bag since the beginning of 2021, and I actually created a wish list video and I mentioned this bag in it. So the universe literally just poured the, open its arms and gave me an opportunity to buy this bag because I did not think I was actually going to get it this year until an opportunity came around for it. So I have always wanted one of the Reeve Gauche bags, but the problem is, is that what I did not like about the bags is the fact that they only come in this canvas material. And the problem with it is to me, in my mind, when I'm thinking of a good travel bag and I'm spending money on it, I want it to be something that just feels not only luxurious, but that is also going to hold up in terms of quality, especially when I'm traveling. And I know with that bag, you can do spot treatments to clean it and everything, but I don't wanna have to do all of that. So instead, I actually ended up getting, 
I'm gagging. This, oh my God, this bag is so amazing. So this is the Reeve, this is the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche large in all leather. This bag is really actually marketed towards men, but I have seen other sites, you know, such as Farfetch, um, and then also forward that are also showing it as a unisex bag. And I love this bag. The quality of the leather is so buttery soft and supple. Um, the bag, you know, holding it itself, it does have the same shape as the, uh, the Reeve Gauche in the canvas material, but the quality and the look and the feel of the bag is just top notch. You are going to pay more money for this bag than you would for the Reeve Gauche, which pretty much will retail anywhere between a thousand to about twelve hundred dollars on various different sites. This bag is definitely going to hike up the coin just a little bit more, but I promise you it is honestly worth every single penny. And I am so glad that it is finally here and in my closet. All right, you guys, you've made it to the end of this video and I have saved the very, very best bag for last because it's, it's so amazing. So the very last best bag that I have purchased in 2021 of a luxury goods is from the brand <laughs> Bottega. The bag, honey, is this paper bag pouch right here. I love her. I love everything about her uh, to the point I think I, I'm probably going to have to name her because she's just so unbelievable. So this is a paper bag pouch. This bag actually is still available on Bottega website. However, I did not purchase it from there. If you want this bag, please click the link in the description box and go and buy this bag from this website that I am telling you about call Joma Shop because that is where you will find this bag for so much cheaper. The bag retails for $1,900 on the Bottega website. It is the same price on sites like Selfridges as well as, they don't have it on Farfetch, but it's on Selfridges. And then I believe it was also on another site called 24S. You can do a Google search and put in Bottega Veneta paper bag pouch and this bag will pop up, but you will pay $1,900. On Joma Shop, it retails between anywhere of $1,400 all the way down to $850, which is exactly what I purchased for this bag. So save your coins, go and get it at a discounted price. You know what? The reason why I actually really wanted it is because I don't see anyone else walking around with this bag like I do with the other Bottegas. And I wanted something that was different that would basically stop people in their tracks because it looks like you're walking around with a paper bag. I'm not gonna lie, like it really does. But it's cute, it's so adorable. I honestly love it. All right guys, so that is the end of my 2021 bag, best bag purchases that I have purchased, I've actually bought. If you've made it to the end of this video, go ahead and hit that like button down there below. Hit the notification bell, hit that subscribe bell so you are part of this community if we continue to grow into 2022. And let me know in the comments below which item was actually your favorite. Which one are you actually excited to purchase? Thank you so much for tuning in for another video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.